What if I told you that you can create unlimited AI videos completely free and keep the same character the entire time? No limits, no subscriptions, no watermarks, just pure AI power that anyone can use. Stick with me for the next few minutes and I'll show you exactly how it's done, step by step. And hey, if this blows your mind even a little, hit that like, subscribe, and drop a comment telling me what kind of AI videos you'd make next. Let's dive in. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is ask ChatGPT or Gemini to write us a prompt for the video generation. You can use either ChatGPT or Gemini. I'm going to use Gemini because I have the pro version, and that's what I'll be using for this tutorial. I have some prompts here that I'm going to use, which you can find in the description. So I'll copy the prompt and paste it here in Gemini. The prompt is, write a prompt of a video of a saleswoman talking in front of a camera. All right, so I was given four options, as you can see. Good. I think I'll go for this one, the last one, which is the vlogger or informal style. I'll go with this. Now I'll open a new tab and go to Grok AI. That's Grok AI. So on the Grok AI website, you can either click on Create Image here, or you can look for Imagine. This is what you want, either Create Image or Imagine. I'll click on Imagine, and there you are. You're going to see a whole lot of images and videos being generated with this particular tool. Honestly, it's massive, and you're going to love this. So to do this, I'm going to input my prompt here, the prompt I copied from Gemini. I'll paste it here and hit Send. Grok will now start generating the images. Let's give it a moment. All right, so as you can see, I got a bunch of them. I got a bunch of these images. You can go through them and find the one you want. Let me see, I'll check this one out. Okay, I think I like this one. Yes, I think I like this one. Okay, so you can simply click on make video here, or you can type what you want her to say. If you just click it, it will generate something random. But if you want her to say something specific, you can just type it right here. For example, make her say, Okay, so once you've typed what you want the lady to say, you simply click this play icon here and Grok will start generating the video. Hello guys, today is a Black Friday. Rush in now for exclusive offers. Good, as you can see, what I typed is exactly what she's talking about. So what I'll do now is simply go ahead and download this video. All right, so to make this video longer and more importantly, keep this character consistent throughout, there's one important step you have to take, which I'm gonna show you right now. I'll go to my gallery where I'll locate the video I just downloaded. I think it's right here. Here it is, here's the video. What I need to do is get the very last frame of the video like this. Now, some devices have an export frame feature in their editor, but that's okay. I'll show you a method that everyone can use. What you need to do is screenshot the last frame of the video. So I'll go to this part of the frame and I'll take a screenshot. Good, it's screenshotted. Now I'll come back to Grok AI. Let me just refresh the page. Now, before I upload that screenshot, there's a very important setting to check. As you can see, it might try to auto video the image, which is not what I want. I'm gonna show you how to turn that off. Go to settings, then go to behavior. Here, you need to turn off enable auto video generation. This way, when you upload an image, it won't automatically turn it into a video. You have to give it a prompt first. So now I'll upload the image again. Okay, I have the previous prompt here. I'll just change it to make her jump and shout, rush in now. 
and let's generate. Okay, so we are done with this first method. Now, before I show you how to stick them all together, I want to show you the second method, which I know most of you are going to use. And for that, we will use ChatGPT, because I know most of you have access to it. I have the prompts over here, two prompts that we're going to use. First, I have to generate my story, and then I'll generate the prompts for the scenes. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'll copy the first prompt. and input it here in ChatGPT. Then I'll hit send. Good, so the story is done generating, as you can see. Now I'll copy the prompt for the scenes to generate those for me. Okay, I'll paste it here and hit send. Good, so now I have the prompts for the scenes ready. First, I'll copy the first scene, scene one, right here. I'll come back to Grok AI. Of course, we're gonna use the Imagine feature again. I'll paste the prompt, just like we did before, and hit send. Good, so this is what we got. This is for a story about a human and a robot dog. You can go through the images that were generated, and as you scroll down, more will be generated for you. Just go through and find the one that you feel is appropriate for your video. Let's say I like this particular one. I'll go ahead and animate it. I'll turn it into a video. To do that, I'll click on Make a Video. So that has been turned into a video for us. I'll go ahead and download it. Next, I'll go back and copy the scene two prompt, paste it in Grok, and hit send. Good, that's done, but that is not how the character looks. Look at the character we used in the first scene. It's quite different. What we're getting now is different. So there is a way to solve this issue because you don't want your character changing in every scene. I'm gonna show you how to solve this. So just like we did with the first example, I'll go to my gallery, I'll find the first video clip, go to the last frame, and take a screenshot. Good, I've got it. Now I'll come back to Grok AI. Remember, make sure your auto video generation is still turned off. I'll upload the image of that last frame, and now I'll paste the scene two prompt. Right, the image has been uploaded, and I've pasted the scene two prompt. Now I'll click on Make a Video. That should start generating the next video, continuing from our last frame. There it is. You can go ahead and download this one as well. And just like before, you'll repeat the process, Screenshot the last frame of this new video, go back to Grok, upload it, and paste your Scene 3 prompt. So I'll upload the new screenshot from Scene 2, and I'll go back to ChatGPT to copy the Scene 3 prompt and paste it here to make the next video, and hit Send. Okay, so the Scene 3 video is also done. You just have to repeat this process for every scene. Screenshot the last frame, Go back to ChatGPT, copy the next scene's prompt, and paste it in Grok to generate the next video. Once you're done with all your scenes, go ahead and download the final one. Good, so that's downloaded. But before we stick them together, we need a voiceover. For this, you can use Google AI Studio. Just search for Google AI Studio, or go to aistudio.google.com. This is what we're gonna to use to generate our voiceover. So let's do that before I show you how to stick them all together in CapCut. All right, so I'll come back to ChatGPT and copy my story, the full story, not the prompts. Good. Now, back in AI Studio, I'll select a voice actor. I'll preview a few. Okay, I'll go with this one. 
Now I'll paste my story here. Of course, I have to get rid of all the unwanted parts, like the timestamps and scene headings. I don't need those in the voiceover. You could also just ask ChatGPT or Gemini to clean this up for you, but I forgot, so I'll just do it the manual way. Good. With my voice actor selected and the text cleaned up, I'll simply click on Generate here. Let's give it a moment. All right, the voiceover is done, so I'll go ahead and play it. Darkness. A flicker. A trembling flashlight beam cuts through thick dust. Mia whispering, Rusty, are you sure this is the place? Okay, that sounds good to me, so I'll simply go ahead and download it. All right, now it's time to stick everything together. I'll open up CapCut. You can use any editor that you want, but I'm using CapCut for this. I'll start a new project and import the clips we generated. All right, I have imported the clips. Let's play it and see. Good. You can see how the scenes flow together. I simply have to cut some parts to make the timing right, like this part over here. I'll cut this. You can also add transitions to make it more cinematic, but first let me add our voiceover. Darkness, a flicker, a trembling flashlight beam cuts through thick dust. Mia whispering, Rusty, are you sure this is the place? From the shadows to... You should add transitions to make it look more professional. I think I have a mix transition. Let me see. Yes, I'll use this one. Okay, and I'll reduce the duration a bit. All right, so you'll want to do that for all your clips and make sure everything syncs up perfectly with the voiceover. I have a full tutorial on how to edit videos on this channel, so you can go ahead and check that one out. I don't want to waste so much time here. So I'll go ahead and export this. This is just a tutorial. You can select any resolution and frame rate that you want and you go ahead and export it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Darkness, a flicker, a trembling flashlight beam cuts through thick dust. Mia whispering, Rusty, are you sure this is the place? From the shadows, two glowing eyes click open, mechanical, warm. Rusty, robot dog, affirmative, Mia. Energy surge detected right beneath us. The floor creaks, Rusty's paw lights blink red. Mia. Beneath us? You mean... The ground cracks. Both fall through a hidden tunnel, tumbling into darkness. They land in a glowing cavern filled with floating Roosty gears and humming blue here. crystals. Mia, awestruck, what is this place? Rusty, unknown, we but something's waking up. A massive gear turns on its own.